Today we're going to talk about the different parts of the tuba and euphonium. If you notice I'm using a tuba picture, but most of the parts for tuba and euphonium, at least the ones we use in beginner class, are almost the exact same. The first part of the tuba euphonium we're going to talk about today is called the bell. The bell is the large circular part at the top of the instrument where all the sound comes out. If you think of the tuba or euphonium like a sound system, the bell would be like the speaker. The next part we're going to talk about is called the valves. Our valves move up and down to open and close different holes so that air and sound can go through different pipes. When this happens, the sound either gets higher or lower depending on how many buttons we push down. The next part of the tuba or euphonium we're going to talk about is called the lead pipe. The lead pipe is the piece of pipe that goes around the bell and out to where we eventually put in a mouthpiece. This is also a very sensitive part of the instrument. We need to make sure that we don't dent it or grab the instrument by the lead pipe. The tubes on the front of the tuber euphonium actually move a little bit. These are called tuning slides. We move the tuning slides in and out just a little bit to make sure that we sound the exact same as the people that we're playing with. We don't move these every single time we play, but we may adjust them or check them every week or every month, depending on what time of the year it is. My personal favorite part of the tuba or euphonium is called the spit valve. Some directors might call it the water key, but I like spit valve better because it sounds cooler. The spit valve opens up to let moisture out of our instrument. It's not really spit as much as it is condensation. When you take your instrument out of its case, the metal is usually cool. When you blow hot air through it, that cold air or cold instrument and hot air combine to make moisture or condensation. Most of that condensation collects down at the bottom of the pipe where the spit valve is. We open that up to let the moisture out of our instrument so we can sound correct. The last part of the instrument we're going to talk about today is called the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is where we put our mouth to make noise go through the instrument. If you think of your tuba or euphonium like a speaker system, the bell would be the speaker and the mouthpiece would be your mp3 player or cd player. Remember, it doesn't matter how good or how expensive a bell you have or a speaker, if the music you're playing out of it sounds bad, it's not going to be very good. The same goes with our tuba. The, the instrument itself is great, but if the mouthpiece sounds don't sound good, then the whole tuba won't sound good. So at the beginning of the year, we spend a lot of time just working on the mouthpiece to make sure that we sound really good before we put it into the tuba. When we look at the mouthpiece up close, there's actually three different parts. Right now we're looking at a euphonium mouthpiece, but a tuba mouthpiece has the same three parts. The first part is where we put our mouth. This is called the rim. You can remember the name by thinking that it looks kind of like the rim of a volcano. The middle part of the mouthpiece is called the cup. Especially on the euphonium mouthpiece, it looks very much like a cup that you would drink out of. And the last part of the mouthpiece is called the shank. The shank is the part of the mouthpiece that we actually attach to the tuba or euphonium. Whenever we're playing on just the mouthpiece, this is the part that we also hold with our fingers. <laughs>